You don't really know much about Halloween. Welcome to another unboxing. On this episode, we have something a little different for you. It's in the form of this box from waxworkrecords.com. See on the side there, uh, something that's a little bit different for this. But when I open it, you'll understand why we're doing this uh, unboxing, because there have been things that I've gotten in the mail that uh, I thought would be fun, but didn't really fit the show. Um, so... Let's get this out. I've been dying to open this, but I just haven't had time to record. And so uh, I, I really wanted to do this with you because I wanted to get the impression uh, as it happened. Let's make sure there's nothing else in there. Thank you, Waxwork, for a nice piece of very sturdy cardboard, if you're interested. Just message me at contact at thenewlydeads.com. We'll be happy to not send it to you because that'd be silly. You can get your own. So now to show you what we have here, we have... The words and music of House of a Thousand Corpses. With its recent anniversary, there has been a deluge, a large, we've got the ring light there, uh, a large quantity of things that have been released for the film. Uh, among them is this vinyl record, which includes the music and uh, sound from the film. So if you're familiar with the soundtrack, then you probably already have a pretty good idea of what to expect. But uh, the, the nice thing about this is that this is um, got some brand new fun art in it uh, by Pete Bregman. Uh, it's also got a 28 page companion comic book, which I'm very excited about a printed pinup inner sleeves. Uh, and uh, it says a heavyweight character cutout sheet, which the art on this is very fun. It's very like, you know, I don't know if, if you're a person of my age and you may have, seen some of the old uh, record albums that came out, like the story record albums uh, that had, you know, this fun kind of thing going on that, uh, I mean, I don't normally open vinyl uh, all the way. I will usually just, uh, I don't want to cut anything. Um, I'll just open just the record itself so I can get to the actual album. But in this case, because there is additional things in there, uh, we're going to go a little bit above and beyond the call of duty here. Uh, but again, I'm a little nervous about cutting anything that is not wanting to be cut. Plus, this knife is not super sharp, and so that makes me nervous as well. And I apologize if my mic is off the chain at the moment, but all for the sake of the show. All right. So this makes me very nervous to take this off. I don't like to do that. All right. So as we open this bad boy up, first of all, let me move that to the side. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Just look. Showing my wife, Mrs. Newly Dead's over there. So she can see. She just gave us the thumbs up. Um, as you can see, all of all of our favorite characters. I'm covered up my mic there. Uh including Sid himself, who will soon be on my body as a permanent tattoo. Um, but so many just, whew, that's, it's such a, a, a kind of divisive film. It's one of my favorites, but uh, there are some people who aren't a fan. So inside, which is okay. There's something for everybody in this world. Inside we have the Otis pinup where he is dressed up like her father after he skinned him. Uh, we have the baby pinup. Sorry if you've already not seen the movie. Uh, I apologize. And I think those are, yeah, they're just the record sleeves. So if you decide you want to take the, the album itself and put it in there. Now in the album itself, we've got Albert Fish on one side 
an Ed Gain on the other, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the ring light there. And then there was two variations on the album. Uh, there was the Captain Spaulding version, which I didn't order because I didn't have the, the money quite yet at that time. So I had to go with the standard um, pressing, which it makes me a little sad, but uh, it is what it is. It happens. So we got those cool things there. I'm just going to leave those separate. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave those out for the moment. I'll put them back properly afterwards. All right, now on the other side, we have the tiny pinup. As you can see, he's riding his little bike there, uh, which if you've seen the film, that'll make sense. And then we have the Captain Spaulding pinup with Ravelli, uh, Ravelli excuse me, there. Uh, and then on the LP, we've got Lizzie Borden on one side, and we have Dr. Satan! on the other side and then you've already seen the vinyl so you know what that looks like and then i showed you the inside yep so the other thing that this comes with which this is a lot larger than i was expecting is the comic book and we also have cut out and assemble to create your own movie scenes this fun little stand up almost like paper doll type characters i'm showing them to mrs newly dead over there uh or or Walter Goggins in a very uh, memorable scene from the film. I just, I love this art. It just takes me back. It's almost like not really Scooby-Doo, like the Toonie Terrors figures, but it's got a very like uh, old school kind of comic book vibe, which I, I dig. Uh, then we've got the giant comic book, which I thought it was just going to be a regular size comic. Um, on the back, we've got some advertisements like they used to have back in the day in the, in the comic books. Um, like Rufus's Muscles of Steel for a dollar twenty-five. Some some Rufus Muffus of Muffus. What's a Muffus? Now what a muscle Muscles of Steel. Um, so then inside, if you if you're listening to the album, you can follow along. Ooh, smells good. Uh, you can follow along with the story of of you know Captain Spaulding in the beginning in the gas station uh, when Jerry and the rest of the gang show up. I mean, this is literally the story. I mean, it's, you know, kind of a little bit of a, a shortened tale, but this tells the story from basically the beginning with a panel or so for each little individual scene there. I'm sorry, I'm sure you all would rather be looking at this than me telling you about it. Um, and it actually ends with the ending of the movie. So if you've not seen the film, first of all, why not? But if you have um, or have not, then the ending will be spoiled right here. And I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to spoil the ending. Um, I do want to order this monster size tiny. It's uh glows in the dark and it's eight feet tall. It's only a dollar seventy-five. I'm gonna have to send away for these. Especially the, the Captain Spaulding disguise kit, which I've dressed as Captain Spaulding before. If you can't tell, that's when I started doing this look, is when I dressed as Captain Spaulding. Um and just kind of stuck. Otherwise it was a goatee. But anyway, beautiful set, well worth the money. Um, if you would like to get yourself a copy of this, this version is still available on waxworkrecords.com. So I'll put the link up here again. Go check it out. It's, I feel like, pretty reasonably priced considering what you're getting. And vinyl these days runs a certain amount, and this falls right in line with those. You have a lot of other really cool records there. And uh, keep your eyes and ears open because I know it's now past the anniversary of the film, but uh, there are still some more things that are coming out that uh, I have pre-ordered and that are also going to be available to you if you are interested. So go check them out on the various sites where you go. And uh, yeah, that sounded strange. But anyway, that's it for this unboxing. And keep in mind that tomorrow is not guaranteed. So remember to always unbox your heart. See you next time. Halloween, the festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.